All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and fellow fishing accomplices, good morning. Welcome back to fishing. So we are getting into the last third of April right now, uh, and it is a weekday that I'm off from school. Got a couple of them this year, this uh, year, so got to take full advantage of them. Uh, I got pretty much all morning, and then I got to get out by around lunchtime probably. Uh, we got some frozen crabs, um, but right now it's dark out, obviously. It's not even 5 o'clock, so we're going to see if we can, you know, zoom around and find some stripers in that, you know, pre and during um, sunrise bite. I know they're around. They're starting to really move into the western sound, and today we're going to see if we can get on them first, and then after that we're going to switch the tog uh, for the stripers. Just going to be throwing some soft plastic, you know, either herring or bunker imitations, swim shads, etc. And I think I'll probably be done with that by around eight-ish or nine. Afterwards, we'll switch to flagfish and we'll be fishing the shallows and rocks. So hopefully one of those two things will take and soon we'll be on the shake. So stay tuned because you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing. Accomplish. All right, pre-sunrise. Definitely seeing a little bit of bait around, which is a good sign. We got 52-ish degree water, so things are warming up. Sun isn't even out yet. Let's see if we can find some stripers. Gonna get a little deeper, but not too deep. Because the bait is in shallow in the warmer water. Let's see if we can find some bass and hopefully cast them up as opposed to troll. All right, while we're looking, we're just gonna throw this Elias Shad in and just troll it. And if we start either getting them or marking them, we're gonna start casting. But in the meantime, we might as well have line in the water. All right, really a struggle to find these fish. So we're gonna do what we did last time to find them, which is go to this little harbor and troll them up, hopefully. I can't see why they wouldn't be here now. The water has chilled out a bit, but it's still above 50 at least here, so. Got the Elias Shad on. We're going to troll. And if we get into them, we'll cast at them. If they don't bite, we'll downsize. Hopefully one of those things will do the trick. Yeah, so this particular morning was pretty tough. Uh, the water did chilled out a little bit since the last time I'd been in. And I did find fish the previous week. And as I kind of hinted, I could have made a video but decided to scrap it. Um, but yeah, the tide was also dead low. So a lot of places where I was finding fish, I just don't think we're able to hold them. But eventually I did find some and was able to cast at them. So... Let's check that out. Marking a few fish. Nothing's touching this. So we've downsized quite a bit because I think a lot of the bait's still very small. And I think a lot of these fish are pretty small. So let's see how this does. Go uh, Kitech Easy Shiner, four inch, one eighth jig head. These fish are very scattered, so it's not an easy bite. No sure thing, that's for sure. Marking a few over here. Got some nice current, got some structure, warmer water. They're a little deeper, so I'm fishing like next to no weight because the larger presentation is not doing anything for me. Hopefully it's not too late in the morning to pick up a few schools. Got him, got him. There we go. Pulled him out of the depths. Got him on the cast. <laughs> Let's go. It's a better size one too than we've been getting. Gotta go light. Yeah, we're seeing them now. Oh, 
hope we're rolling. Definitely one of the better ones we've gotten this year so far. That one goes slot size just about. Oh, we're really on them now. That's what we've been looking for. Best one I've gotten off the North Shore. Jeez. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. That one is a legal fish, if I'm not mistaken. Get a little shot of this guy. All right, first legal fish of the year. We're gonna get it right back. Just got a nice slot size striper on the Kai Tech. Get it back down because there's fish here. Going real light, just kind of bouncing it right off the bottom area. Four inch Kai Tech, easy shiner, eighth ounce jig head. Got him. Missed him. Let's try that again. Got him. Oh, damn. <laughs> Thought I was bottom for a sec. Just missed one. It's like the lighter get up's the way to go. Barely felt that bite because this current. This is what we've been looking for. Come on. This might be as good as it gets for the rest of the day. Just slathered a little proke here on there. There's been a bite, but it's just really skittish. But they are here. I mean, look at this. Been seeing that like every four to five minutes around this area. There's definitely a good pile of fish here. I know it's a little later in the morning, so the bite's probably very finicky, but every so often I'll get a good swat, but very skittish, not really digging it. Um, and whatever we're getting is on this lighter, smaller profile for the most part, unless we're trolling. And let's see if the pro here makes a difference. Got him. Little guy, but still I'll take him. I think he's little. He might be just running with the current too though. Doesn't feel quite nah. Not complaining though. Happy to get on him. Happy to be on them. So close to home too. Yeah, we're still going over them again. Let's get another. All right, finally landed another fish. Got a nice little stack under us right now. Let's see if we can make it a double feature.
All right, let's change it up. We're gonna do a little hog attempt. And before we even drop a line, we are going to chum the heck out of this water. Got a whole bunch of frozen crabs. It's not very deep here. Fishing some external structure. Let's see if we can get them worked up. Get a lot of bait down there. And then eventually we'll drop it down and hopefully there's still some decent fish around despite the water temperature dropping a little bit. All right, let's see if anyone's home. Home and ready to bite. Water temps are just at 50 degrees. They were hovering around 52, 53 last time I was here, so they've dropped. Had a definite bite, but it cleaned me out, so back down we go. There's a bite. Playing with it. Got him. Gotta start somewhere. What a chunky little hand. Dark, dark fish too. Back down we go. All right, got our first hog. Let's see if there's a few others down there. Hopefully something a little bigger, but happy with anything as always. All right. Well, we got a tog. We got some stripers this morning and now it's time to get ourselves some refreshments. So time for the seltzer of the day, folks. And if you heard that Chris sound, that is none other than Santa V. And this is coconut, so hopefully this won't be the end of the bite, but if it is, let me give you this review. It's a very flavorful seltzer right here. Definitely tastes like what it's supposed to be. Uh, good flavor, nice and refreshing, kind of like a pina colada minus all the sugar. So if that sounds like your jam, make sure to check it out. I'm gonna rate that a solid. 8.5 Santa V, uh, some kind of premium seltzer beverage. And while you're here, let's make this a, a premium experience. Please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe while you're here. Really appreciate it. And I'd also appreciate to catch some more fish. So let's even get a few more before we go. Chumming up, chumming up, chumming up. Got to get these fish nice and frenzied up. I'm trying to throw all the crab pieces up tied so they land more or less where my bait is to varying degrees of success but yeah all those that shell pieces the crab uh legs and all that get it down there in the water right where we're fishing hoping to get a little mini frenzy st started back down we go Let's take it. <laughs> Little cookie cutters. <laughs> now they're like 12, 13 incher. Fun size. Okay, just got another uh, scrappy little tog. See if he's got any buddies down there. Preferably ones that are much, much larger. But yeah, they're there. Gotta be patient with them. Chum up and just drop it down and play the waiting game. Good thing we got some seltzer to keep us going. But yeah, rule number one, we're just trying to build up that bite. Be patient with it.
like the little pieces are working better. It's a lot easier for them to take the whole thing. They'll hit the big ones, but uh, just can't take the hook. All right, just got another one. Don't have a ton of time left, but I'll at least use up the crabs I have. I mean, see if we can get something a little more significant. After that fish, uh, I did stay in the water for just a little bit longer, but as I alluded to, I had to do some stuff in the afternoon, so I had to cut it a little short. Fish were definitely still there, very finicky bite. Again, like sometimes I'd be sitting there for, you know, two, three, four minutes without even a tap, and then all of a sudden there'd be fish there. Uh, patience was the name of the game, but on this particular day, I had to get out before, you know, I got what I was looking for. As you probably noticed too, it got quite snotty out, so it was actually a good thing that I had to get out of there. But yeah, just a little fun tog outing with some stripers mixed in. So thank you for watching as always. Please hit that like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one, of course. Goodbye from fishing.